Hey guys, what's the Sun Five Two 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 here? And today, I was showing you guys about around redstone, cause you know uh, some people really need help on redstone, and I I can't really find any uh, redstone tutorials on uh, on YouTube, so I decided to make one myself. And you can notice how I'm running a little bit faster, cause I turn my speed a bit faster, so I don't have to just walk over here. Walk over here. I, I I just like running faster to do this throw much more quickly. Now these are the basic ideas of redstone. The redstone is unactivated and then it's activated and it hits the note block, which which just gets activated. Redstone can travel this way. Well, the lever can activate redstone that travels this way, and the red uh lever can also activate redstone that is right below it. You can hear that musical thong. Uh, so that's just to indicate that the it works and over here knows now knows how it can't and over here knows how it can't either. So I have a lot of trash in my inventory and all that, but it doesn't really matter. Over here, boom, boom, it works. And over here, it works too. It, uh, these buttons can uh, activate in all these directions. Oh, pretty much the same as levels, except they only send one pulse while the lever is activated the whole time. And it's can activate below it too, and it's can activate in this direction. It's connected, but the lever and the button can't activate a note block that's directly above. Y you can see what I mean right here, hopefully. I hope I'm not rushing this or anything, because this is for people who have not experienced with redstone like barely experienced with redstone. Later I'm gonna move to uh, repeaters which is going to be a little bit more complicated but uh, a lot of people might not know about it now. Notice pressure plate can activate on that layer but pressure plate can activate, can't activate one layer above it but can activate one layer below it. So this is just to show you where how pressure plates can activate. Now over here pressure plates can be activated like that too. Like that. You can see over here, it can activate below to send the power below. And now over here, push the plate just showing that uh, it can send more than one redstone pu pulse out. That's really basic. Really basic idea. And same for buttons. Now here's just a couple examples of doors. So it's really simple. Now this door, no one uses. I haven't seen anyone use this double door bu button double doors. Because, uh, like, they have to be open like this. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know why. The doors just... On my, it's really hard to make double doors, and I'll show you guys how to make double doors in the advanced version. And over here, boom! Well, well, wait. Okay, there we go. And then we go in. And the push plate, same thing. So, those are just some, these are just some really basic door examples. Now, over here, Western Torch choop, is always activated, it's always on. So, Western Torch is basically always, 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 always on. So,. It's good if you want to keep something on us, or something like that. Now, over here, redstone torch activating uh, the side of it, but right above it, the redstone torch is off, and right above that, the redstone torch is on. Why is that? That's because the redstone torches uh, travel up, and when uh, one power goes to another power on the redstone torch thing, it the redstone torch kind of shuts off, but. It doesn't work if you're doing this. Let me just show you really quick. Do, 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 do. So you want to shut off the redstone torch with a lever. Like this. It's not going to shut off. I'll show you guys how to shut it off in the advanced version. Because cause only pr pretty much uh, people that use redstone a lot will, will use that. Nah, now that's just a basic idea of redstone torches. Redstone torch can also go... Uh, send the power up, and it can keep a door open. I don't know why you'd want to keep a door open 24/7. I mean, you can just have a lever to pull on it, and then just stays open. I don't know. What, I don't know. But it's just uh, redstone torches are used for other stuff, like s not not simple redstone stuff. This is showing that redstone torches can activate in all directions, including up that way, like. You can you can see right here how how it can activate. Over here, redstone torches cannot activate below. Cannot activate below itself like that. 
So that's really basic, basic, really, really basic redstone stuff. Now if you moving on to redstone repeaters, which uh, some of you might not know, some of you might know. I'm not sure, but I I I I um I was kind of new to redstone repeaters, like not not just now, but I was. Now redstone repeaters can, you know. It, it can make a circuit, which helps a lot, so, two circuits, right there, now, this circuit is traveling really fast, this circuit is traveling really slow, because all the redstone repeaters on this circuit is delayed, notice how the redstone torch like thing is moved back, but over here the redstone torch like thing is moved closer together, so it's delayed much less, while this is delayed much more. This is used for like if you wanna pull like pull a lever and then have something happen and then something else happen. Uh, I can't I can't explain it in words though. So, and this is showing redstone torches. Right, no, 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 redstone repeaters has four stages. This is the first stage, second stage, third stage, and fourth stage. So right over here, this is the first stage. It delays the least amount of time. Boom. See, it's really quick. Now over here, it delays a bit more. Second stage. Now third stage delays even more. And the fourth stage delays a lot. Notice how it's taking a long time to travel up to the note block. And now, oops. Oopsie. Okay. And now moving on to the redstone. Pist redstone with piston stuff. Now this is really important if you want to make some piston, like some piston door traps or anything like that. Y you might want to keep this in mind. So, pistons. What? Well, well, no. Redstone can activate pistons like that. Can activate both of them. If you put if you put the redstone tower on the second, no, on the middle, kind of middle. Te technically on th this pistons layer, but it's technically the middle. If you put it in the middle, both pistons are activated. If you have the redstone or redstone power uh, go on the bottom only, the only the bottom is activated. And over here, only the top is activated. It's kind of simple if you look at it that way. So if you if you want to make some door trap thing, just use this. Just only, pretty much only use this. Because it can activate both of the pistons with one thing. Now this is just showing that... Redstone and redstone repeaters can do the same thing. Now you might be wondering why not just use redstone repeaters and no redstone like this instead of instead of redstone repeaters. Now I'll show you right here. Now let's pretend. Okay, first of all, let me get this out of the way. I'll just repair this later. Boo boo. Now get this out of the way. So <coughs> we have enough room to do this. Now, I believe this is what some of you might be thinking. Why not just do this? I mean, it'll still work, but no. It only activates the bottom ones. But if you change these two repeaters, that activates them all. So, pretty much, you want to use repeaters most of the time. It, it helps a lot. So, putting that out there too. And. Over here to show you, redstone can only travel so long, it can't activate the door. Right here, the redstone lever, <laughs> the lever can't activate the door, cause the redstone, oh, <coughs> boy squawk, redstone goes, and stops, it just stops, cause there's not enough power. This is another, another example of it, do 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 it stops right here. The power stops right here. I'm just using these redstone repeaters to indicate how far or whatever they can go. So the redstone goes and hits over right here and stops. However, if you use redstone repeaters to okay, sorry, my dad was talking to me. Just saying. Okay, now oh, whoops, caps lock. Okay. Now, when I activate that lever, notice how these redstone to redstone repeaters can be activated too. That's because there's a redstone repeater right here that can extend the circuit like like so. Oh, oh, oopsie. Like so. 
See? It can be extended as long as the uh, redstone can travel to the repeater. So it, you can extend your redstone power stuff, which is really helpful. You know, boop, boop, red pistons can be activated like that. Really simple idea. Over here, wait, now over here, I need to turn my speed back to normal. Whoopsie. Set P, damn it. Okay. Turn my speed back to normal and turn flying off. Oh my god, I feel so slow. Anyways, uh, sometimes this fails. Say I put the rest of the repeater down and it's on this first stage. Now, someone just comes running by and, okay. Well, usually someone might be coming running by and, oh, yep, right there. You, they step on it, it closes, but they don't get into the, they don't get into the, into the trap thing. But you want to get them into the trap, so you delay these redstone repeaters a bit more, so watch out, and then it pretty much waits until your the redstone travels over here, hits the repeater, waits a little bit, and sends it the uh, power to the pistons, which crushes you. Pretty, pretty fun, huh? Yeah. Now over here, this is just to show, oh my god, I hate being slow. I swear. Okay. Now over here, you might be wondering why I have to have like a ledge up to the redstone repeaters. Over here, I'll show you why. Because these redstone can't activate these redstone repeaters up here. However, this redstone will activate this piston because it can tra the re uh, the power can travel through one block and hit that piston. You can see right here. Oh wait, maybe I was wrong. Okay, I was wrong. But if these were repeaters. It can activate uh, those those two pistons like that. So you have to make this a small ledge so that you can go like that, and so the redstone can travel to the repeater and open and close. So that's just another basically simple idea. Well, actually, it's uh, simple if you haven't experimented before. Same same concept. Step on this. Piston can travel through a block. Piston repeater travel through a block and hit the piston. Now moving on to musicals. Uh, I've seen a lot of musicals on YouTube. Like you know, they push a button on something and it goes like all those uh, uh all those redstone <sighs> all those just redstone note musical stuff. I made my one myself. It's really simple. Over here, you can see that I used a button, t a button over here, and the rest on travels and hits this, hits the snow block, then gets delayed a puny bit. Well, I do this so that these two don't activate at the exact same time. Because if this was gone, these two would activate at the act activate at the exact same time. But I want this one to activate a puny bit before this one. And now the western goes and goes and goes. And these appears also help by like extending the circuit or ex extending the power so so the power just just doesn't go a little bit and stop stop. So let's listen to this. I hope you guys <laughs> like that. <laughs> like it's very, 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 very simple and easy. I feel like listening to it again. You can notice that the redstone travel traveling through all the all of the note blocks and hitting them. Now over here, there's a redstone circuit. As you can see, there's a redstone circuit. And just step on this and whoops. Turn fly off. Okay. Step on this. It works. Works nice and neatly. Let's turn that off. And then if we turn all these redstone repeaters into the first stage. Well, well, first stage, then, then all these uh, uh, pistons travel much faster, like, go up and down much faster, that's what she said, but anyways, you get the point. But if the redstone repeaters were to be onto the first, fourth, fourth stage, damn it, wait, whoops, whoopsie, whoopsie, whoops, you can't, you can kind of tell what is gonna do if you were actually listening or actually 
can take all this information in, which is kind of easy, but uh, as you can see, it trap like the pistons go up and down much slower. <gasps> that was a lot of talking. Now, that is it of the redstone repeaters for the beginners. Remember, this is for only the people that almost have never experienced with redstone before. Because I know a lot of you might have experienced with redstone and been like, Oh my god, this tutorial sucks. I, oh, I know all this. Who, who does this guy think he is? Wow. Like, you might, you might kind of be like that, but this is for the beginners. I'll show you an advanced one that will come out in a couple of days later, or maybe, uh, I'm not sure, I just might make it now because I'm, because I'm kind of bored. But, the res the advanced one, trust me, will we'll have stuff that you have not learned. If you haven't looked up any other tutorial and found out stuff. If you haven't done that, then, all the stuff that I tell you in the second, in the advanced version, would probably be be a lot a lot more complicated now I'm gonna, just gonna end the video here and see ya hope this helped please leave a rating and subscribe